Hello, good afternoon everyone. Okay, so uh, this video is to show all of you how to access your trading permissions because some of you might not have the proper trading permissions for buying certain stocks and options. So what you want to do is you want to log into your Interactive Brokers page on your website. Then click on this human icon on the top right side and you want to go to settings. Now, once you're in these settings, right, you'll go to this account management page. So if you have multiple accounts, just click on the ones where you want to set the permissions for. So take note that the permissions you set will be for individual accounts. So if you want it for all your accounts, make sure to set it for everything. Now, once you're over here, the first thing you want to go is click on your financial profile. Once you're inside a financial profile, they'll ask you to key in your income and wealth, source of wealth, uh, investment objective, and purpose of trading. So for your source of wealth, it doesn't really matter much. Your investment objectives and intended purpose also doesn't matter much, but you want to put in profits from active trading and speculations because for IB, they might track that as a requirement for options. The next thing is the investment experience. So what you want to do is if you haven't uh, done it yet, uh, you want to make sure that your stock knowledge right, is extensive knowledge. So if it's not, just click on edit and you can adjust over here, stocks, bonds, options to extensive knowledge over here. So this is based on your number of trades per year. So you can just adjust accordingly, but make sure that this portion is extensive knowledge. And once you're done, just click on continue. So I didn't make any changes, so it's fine for me. Now, this is the first thing you want to do on your financial profile. The next thing you want is go back to your settings, scroll all the way down until you see this thing called trading permissions. Click into it, and you should see a few options over here. Now, what you want to do is for stocks, right? You want to click on edit, and you want to make sure that you have selected all the locations that you want to trade stocks in. For me, I've selected Singapore, just in case, and you want to select all North America, just in case. So just select all of it, and then you click continue. So this is for stocks, and then they might ask you to sign. So you just sign here, and you just continue. So this is one. The next thing you want to do is also in similar the financial profile page, right? So uh, this is loading, let's wait for it to load. Um, and then we go back to trading permissions. The next thing you want is for options. So you can see I have this options level 4. So if you want to edit, just click to edit and make sure that you have selected all of North America as well, Canada, United States and Mexico. Now, once that is done, one more last thing is uh, index options. So you can click stop option and index options. And uh, for me, if you see the stocks option, uh, this is not required and uh, you will see why. It's because for the stocks option that you click, right, is for locations that you will not really do options. So you don't have to take any of this. Now, if you click on the index options, okay, similarly, you don't really have to take because this is all uh, different, it's different options. So when you click on the options level 4, they have already covered it. Okay, the last thing you want to do is this complex or leverage exchange trader product. So you might or might not have this in your trading permissions, but if you have this, just click on request and they will ask you to sign certain things over here. So what you have to do is to just sign right over here and continue. And you should be able to trade certain leverage options, for example, TQQQ, TCL, or XLSL. But take note, of course, these are leverage, it's more high risk. So if it's not something that is suitable to your risk profile, you don't have to do it. But this is how to kind of set up your trading's permissions on interactive brokers. So I hope this helps all of you.